before I put the drum in even. Okay, that's uh I got a I got dial calipers but I can't read the dial anymore. That is hundred and seventy five thousandths to the outside of the thread. So that's well that's fine to know that. The ins well I could check the inside too. Now this self tapper, yeah, it's smaller like I thought. It's 165. How could I see that but not see all the other things? And my vision has really got some craziness to it. It really does. I mean, I could tell that one was bigger. And the shank of the screw is 115 thousandths. So now I just need something bigger than that. I think a regular old sheet metal screw will be just enough bigger and I should have some in these bottles up here. I just have to keep looking in the bottles till I find them. I see an assorted one here. Yeah, surely there's something in there. Let's come back. Well, let me look from here because I may have to uh, dump them out and measure on them. Wait, there's one. There's one. If that's it, then I'll just use it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. That's just enough bigger. 180, 185 thousandths on the threads. On the outside of the threads. Let's see if I can get a measurement on the... On the shank. Yeah, 160. So, I think that one will fit perfectly... I'll uh, just leave that out. Well, I better shut the lid and I don't want it falling and dumping everything out of there. There we go. Put this in my pocket. Okay. I think I'll... Well, I'll put this back. The more things I string out and things like that, I'll love not even remember that I left it that way. I guess I'll pull my chair back over here. I think my nut driver that I have is still going to fit it. Yep. So the link's not a big deal because it uh, now which one is the one? Let's try the new one. It should be less stripped because they don't stick to where they can hit anything. doesn't want to drive it. This is not a very good. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? Should I risk it? I'll just tap it. I'm going to be careful. I'll stop there. Because I still have about a half inch or so to go. If I hit it again, I'll probably mess up yeah that's a it's like it's worn and i haven't used it i didn't i just got that <laughs> driver it is when well, no, i look well it is a, a you could have been used before it's not out of a brand new box okay that's good that is okay that's tight yeah the rest of these i could tighten them up to the point that it hurt my old sore hands I don't want to say the word, the, the A word, but uh, but anyway, they hurt. Okay, yeah, that screw. I'm gonna put it in with the dryer screws, so I'll know what it is. And that uh, screw there is. Uh, that's just a good. It is it it. It's a good screw. It can be used again. Let's see. I'm going to put it in there too. There we go. Okay. It doesn't make sense when you can't see what I'm talking about. Does it? I'm just trying to figure out how to put them, where to put them so that I'll find them again later. Oh, the back needs to go on there. Well, I want to do that now. Well, I really, I just want to, I think... 
I can plug it up and try it. Let me see. If that looks like I can do that. I'm not sure if it would be bad on the heating element. That's what I'm wondering about. Okay, so. Yeah, okay. The way the wires are hanging, you're looking at me. Stop watching me. I was trying to tuck my shirt in. It's my, it's my fault just because I'm the one that left it like that. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to want to be on the other side here while I do that, to do that. Okay. Yeah, this jumper wire goes from here to here. Kind of interesting. That's okay. I thought it was going to be too loose. Kind of an interesting circuit. Oh, that needs squeezing a little bit. They're in good shape, so I'm not going to redo them. Let's see. Not sure how much squeezing they really need. I think I'm going to have to have more white. Let's see what I'm doing here. How did I do that before? Like that. Oh, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this is a jumper that goes from the heating coil to the sensor. I call it a sensor. It is a sensor, but it's a temperature. It's a. Call it. Uh, I call it. A, I forget the exact name the parts house calls it, but it's a high limit thermostat. Maybe that's what they call it. I didn't squeeze on that very hard, but it now I don't want to go on there. There. Am I missing this thing? There. Oh, I see. I'm missing half of it. I think I'll have to squeeze. I, I must have squeezed one side up too much. I've got my nut driver, but not my screwdriver. In my pocket now. Need my screwdriver. I'm not sticking a bunch of tools in my pants like I usually do because my pants are already coming off because of this bag I'm wearing. Yeah, I squeezed it up. I, uh, either that or it was already like that and I didn't see, I couldn't see it. Might have been because I didn't squeeze very hard on it. Hold it with the pliers. Yeah, it's closed up. Maybe it did close up just now when I did it. I just didn't, didn't realize it. I think I'm going to have to go get something that can get under it. I'll go get my, my awl. I think it'll go in there and do that pretty good. My scratch awl. I need a better situation for my mic bag, though. It is driving me crazy. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Yeah, it's just closed it down. Nothing's going to go in there. It almost looks like it makes me wonder if it was already like that. And that thing was on there kind of funky to start with. Now it's too far open. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it with the needle nose. Maybe the maybe the pliers did too good of a job. Where are they? There we go. Okay. They don't have as much uh clamping force on the down on the ends. Oh yeah, that moves really easy. Okay. I hope I don't have to re if I end up having to replace these because they're just too over, you know, they've lost any strength. Let's see. Let's 
Oh, now it went on that one side and not the other again, but the opposite way. And that one must be closed down. They keep going from... Where's that magnifying glass? I remember what I did last time. I don't know if I can get up here like that. Yeah, now I can see them. See, I'm, I'm just kind of looking at a blurry picture. Yeah, that's all closed up again. Better use those before I hurt myself. This is getting crazy. Okay. That was way too much. Get the pliers again. See if that'll I'll be able to get that on there. Keeps on doing that. Keeps on going on one side and not the other. There. Oh, I see. The back one was bent up. Was bent too. Uh, I bet. Uh, Probably that first time I crimped down on it, I did way more crimping than I realized, I'm going to guess. Let's see, I'm going to have to go through that way or something. There we go. To get to that one, i got to go through the back. Yeah, the scratch all is tapered, so when you stick it in to something, it, you're in the way. It makes, you know, the further you stick it, the, the further it spreads it apart. So it, if it'll, if it, it can be pretty cool. <laughs> Everything is sharp, but it didn't get cut, I don't think. Why do you always have so much trouble right when you almost there? Because you're tired, right? I can't lean that way anymore. Oh! <gasps> It's always the hardest stuff you do, you know, the hardest phys physically on you when you're really tired. And so then it's even worse. Okay, I can't get to it now. Okay. Uh, get that more out of the way. I mean, this should be simple. Plugging them up. Now the light's not helping me any. There, now it's, now it's too spread apart. Starting to feel like maybe I'm gonna have to replace them. We'll see if they, I mean, if they're tight, once, if I ever get them on there, they should be all right. Okay. This thing is way too easy to bend. Way too easy to bend. Maybe use the pliers if I want to cut myself. It goes closed up or wide open. I can't get it in this in the in between. So I'm gonna, that's not gonna work. not quite tight enough the other one's fine I think 
Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of leave it on there and squeeze it a little and see if that helps. That made it worse, of course. Because, you know, they're kind of curled and... I think I may end up having to replace that one, but I'm going to... I want to get it on there just for a test, at least. Glad I went ahead and did those inside ones first. Ones I could... Yeah, it just wants to... It's so loose on there, it just wants to fall right off. I don't, if I squeeze on it again like I was doing, it'll just close right back up again. So, I guess it may be easier to put a new end on it than to try to make it stay on there. My wires aren't long enough either. The ones where I had to cut them off. There is wire to spare back there. Where is it? Let's see. Oh, let's see. I can't hardly tell. This one here, I think, is holding that loop where I may, I may end up having to clip it. To get that to go, and that one is just loose as a goose on there. Again, I'm beginning to feel like I don't trust it. Oh, now it seems okay, but it's still not tight like it should be. Where's my? I gave it just a tiny little squeeze. I guess the first squeeze I gave was. Too much because it's just too weak. I think it's been heated up too much. Oh, I see. Well, it's on there pretty good now. But we'll see. Uh, you know, if it's to that point to where when it gets heated up, it's going to uh, let loose. How's this one... Yeah, okay, it seems to not be out of shape or anything. There, that one's fine. And this one's fine. Just that one. This one actually won't reach. And if I... These are... I think those are the kind you squeeze to get them loose. It's dark under there. I didn't think it wouldn't reach. But I did talk about it, but I didn't really think that was going to be a thing. Okay. Can't see it good enough to tell for sure. I think you squeeze it to get it to let go. Is what you do. I guess. Okay, now. I think if I get it to let go, I can actually just put it back once I pull out some of the... I need to get some more from back here though, so let's try that one first. Oh, there it is. Yeah, real easy to do that. It didn't make it let go of the wire, though. But I don't think any of the... I got regular zip ties, but I don't think they could handle the heat in here. But I think in order to get any more wire out of there, I'm going to have to...
that one don't let go like that other one did. Is easy. I can't get to it good. This is in the way. Guess I don't really know which way it's, it's turned. It just it needs to be squeezed. There. <laughs> first way I tried didn't it didn't work first time, but that was actually the right way. Okay, now to get letting that go, actually letting both of those go makes it makes it now. But uh, I don't know. But I don't think these are. The wire portion, I'm not so sure it's releasable. Oh yeah, they seem, I think they work like zip ties. So they're probably not releasable. The light just makes me not be able to see through the magnifying glass. I need to just get more out of there. This one down here, I think would, I can plug it in now. Do that, okay. Yeah, my new connectors are good. They go right on there. Yeah. This one wouldn't go back in there. I suppose what I could do is that's actually okay. I think to leave this one here loose. I kind of don't like having that one loose. Could drill a new hole and pop it in there. <coughs> this one needs to be. <coughs> plumb off the rail to work. Not. Yeah, after losing so much wire redoing this. Okay, it moves, but it's the whole thing moving, not the uh, not my connector. But yeah, I don't want this. I mean, it would, I don't think it could really, well, I would really feel better in all this heat to have that anchored. So I may actually do that, drill another hole in there. I don't see me getting it loose. And I'll try later. If I can scoot it on over to where it'll go back in there, that would be good. Okay, now let's think about this, about my test. This, see, if, I, if, it's, if I'm right, I can... Uh, I can test this just like it is. Just plug it in and test it. Okay, the, the blower will be blowing air, but it won't be circulating through the, the heating element, though, because it's, what it does is it sucks air through the drum, the drum, through here, and out the back. So it forces air across the heating element. So I can't, if, I, if I turn it on, it's got to be just for seconds. I can't like let it run or anything, but I can. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it on for seconds, see that if it does turn on at all, and then uh, then I'm going to have to go eat, and uh, it can be cooling down while I'm eating. So uh, because I certainly don't want to just put it all back together, only to find out, you know, that it wasn't working. Actually, I think I'll leave the lid up because I can. It turns on and off just fine with the lid up. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Camera, I kicked my. That bottle's there, so that I kick that that bottle first instead of the, instead of the uh, legs of the tripod. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need to see where that thing is, if it's in the off position. There. Yeah. It should be in the off position. 